welcome everyone again to another Fusion 360 tutorial. In this video we're going to go over some of the tools that you can use when you're in your 2D workspace that are very happy or uh, very useful to know and use sketching things. So first one we're going to go over in our modify tab is fillet. Yes, it's not fillet, it's fillet. Basically what a fillet is, is let's say we're going to go ahead and create a line on our origin, we'll create another line. Obviously, let's just say we wanted to make a curve on our, on our joint here, right here. What we would do is we would go to our fillet. We would go you can either do two ways. You can click on this line and this line, or you can go to the point in which you would like to curve. Uh, we'll go ahead and click and select. You can now determine how much of a curve you want in that line. This is a very handy tool to use if you didn't already plan ahead and you used a circle to get um, the angle in which you wanted to use, and you just had uh, lines that are joined together, then yeah, you would be able to use your fillet command and put curves in your lines. So you can determine how much of a curve you want and boom, there you go. So a chamfer is uh, very similar to a fillet, but a little different. You can go to our equal distance chamfer and what this does is you will once again select uh, either both lines or the corner and it will actually put a an angle to it. So if you want to take a, a slice off of an edge you can do that. You can specify what length you want it uh, or how harsh you want the angle to be. We can go to our other fillets or distance and angle chamfer. We can select our lines. You can determine how far in you want it and what angle you want it to be. So if you want it to be less of an angle or more of a harsh angle, then you can determine that and you can determine what, uh, how far back you want it to be and so on and so forth. So that's very handy to know as well. Another one that you can use is two distance chamfer. You can select these two and you can determine if you'd like this one to be 35 and you'd like this one to be a little farther back on it. Uh, as you might see, I'm getting warnings here. Um, I'm getting warnings on this uh, chamfer down here. This is because, uh, as you can see, this line's blue, which means it's not constrained, which is throwing a bunch of errors. Uh, for this demonstration. I didn't bother with constraining it, but uh, we will, as I said, go over that later. Uh, so I think that kind of wraps up this video on things for edges of lines. So if you have two adjoining lines that are at a right angle, it doesn't even have to be a right angle, like a 90 degree angle. You can also uh, do it with any angle you want. So if it wasn't like this completely, you could even do the same thing with an angle like this. You could still curve it however you would like. Super, super great tool to know and to use. As you can see, it's uh, great for many uses. In our next tutorial, we're going to go over the trim tool and the extend tool and the break tool. Uh, those are some of the most used that I use the majority of the time. Very handy to know. And we're going to go over those in our next video. So stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that. Until next time, thanks for watching.